Hello, welcome to Merchant of Venice, Act 3, Scene 3. This is a short scene, especially after the last one. Last one was crazy important, had all sorts of plot lines working together. And this scene is short and to the point, and we learn just a couple of things. Um, one, Antonio has been arrested. Um, Shylock is talking not to Antonio. This whole time, Shylock never addresses Antonio. He's talking to the... Well, maybe he does address Antonio. But he starts off talking to the jailer. Now, in your book, it's a goofy spelling. G-A-O-L-E-R. That's a Shakespearean spelling, I guess. And it's jailer. And he tells the jailer, Jailer, look to him. Tell not me of mercy. This is the fool that let out money gratis. Jailer, look to him. He's telling the jailer, look to him. Put him back in jail. Right? I don't want to talk to him. Um, Antonio's like, hear me, Sherlock. And Sherlock is like, no, I'll have my bond. That bond is the pound of flesh. Okay. So, Antonio is begging for mercy. And Sherlock's like, no, I'm not going to talk to you. I want my pound of flesh. And speak not against my bond. I have sworn an oath that I'll have my bond. Shylock has sworn that he's going to get that pound of flesh. You've called me dog before you had a cause, but since I am now a dog, beware my fangs. Remember, one of the reasons that Shylock hates Antonio is because Antonio calls him names, like dog. And then Shylock continues, the Duke will grant me justice. The Duke will grant me justice. This is going to go in front of the Duke. We'll talk more about that in a minute. And then Shylock kind of says to the jailer, Thou naughty jailer, that thou art so fond to come abroad with him at his request. I do wonder, jailer, why is it you came with him at his request? Antonio is supposed to be in jail. He didn't pay his debt. And Antonio somehow talked the jailer into letting him out, coming to talk to Shylock, as long as the jailer's with him. That's pretty good and sweet talking, um, but it's not working. Antonio, once again, is like, pray thee, hear me speak, just listen to what I have to say. And Shylock's like, no, I'll have my bond. Talk to the hand, I don't want any part of it. I want my bond, I will not hear thee speak. I'll have my bond. Therefore, say no more. He's done with it. Um, and he just tells him, follow me not. I have no speaking. I want my bond. So Shalak goes to walk away. And Antonio and the jailer and Salarino is there with him. They just stop following him. Shalak takes off. And Salarino has some disparaging things to say about Shylock. And Antonio's like, let him alone. He's got good reason to hate me. And he gives a couple of those reasons there. Um, but Salarino then says, I'm sure the Duke will never grant this forfeiture to hold. I'm sure the Duke won't let him cut out upon the flesh. There's going to be a trial, right? If there is a disagreement with a contract, you take it in front of the Duke, and then he presides over it, and then it's it's figured out. It doesn't look good for Antonio, though. Listen to his reply when Salarino says, I'm sure the Duke will let you off the hook. Antonio says, the Duke cannot deny the course of law. It's the law. He signed this contract. And in Venice, strangers from all over the world come and they do business and they sign contracts there and they're legally binding. Venice is made on its transactions and trades because the contracts are so firmly held up by the law. He says, the commodity that strangers have with us in Venice, if it be denied, will much impeach the justice of his state. So if the Duke says, no, this contract's void, then all the other contracts in Venice can be voided as well. And then the power of those contracts is gone. 
So Antonio knows that the Duke can't side with him. Wow, this is crazy. Um, Antonio goes on to explain, since the trade and profit of the city consisteth of all nations. So every nation comes here to do trade. If we break this contract, then all the nations won't come to Venice anymore to do business because contracts can be broken willy-nilly. So this is big. Um, and as his parting remark, he says, well, jailer on, let's go back to jail. Pray God Bassanio comes to see me pay his debt. And then I don't care what happens. All Antonio wants to do is to see Bassanio again. That's it. He knows he's going to die because he has to give up this debt. Okay. We've got a couple more short scenes. And then the next act is that trial. This trial is my favorite trial in all of literature. Okay. Um, it's, I've said that I like the trial in To Kill a Mockingbird. I've said I like the trial in The Crucible. The trial in this play is my favorite, hands down. Okay. I've talked more about this scene than is in this scene. Have a great day, and we'll do more tomorrow.